So we get ready to start the second quarter, 24 to 8 in favor of the Norsemen. And we have, let's see, Kendall Endress came out there for, who would he come out for? Cameron. And then Stephen McGrath is finally in, and he came in for Schmitty. And we got Kendall in there. We welcome Schmitty, or excuse me, uh, Stevie McGrath back out there. Stevie's averaging 1.6 steals a game. Nearly fell out of bounds. Evan has two fouls, so he doesn't want to get a third. Otherwise, he'll be sitting on the side, too. Nice pass from top. Nothing doing. Misses it. Gets his own rebound and puts it in. 7.20 remaining in the first half. 24-10. Norseman have a 14-point lead. Evan by himself. Misses the layup. And they save it. Throw it off of Kendall. Nice double team, and Kendall's nice, very good job by Kendall sneaking up there. Didn't give him much room, but gave him enough room to land. You have to give them space to land. Bulldog coaches seem very positive, encouraging their player. Don't worry about it. You don't see that it. often. You don't see that often. No, you'd see, you'd see more frustration. They're down 14. Stevie has it. Remember, he's a little shy from having not playing for five games. Evan misses. Stevie with the rebound. Right back up and gets the foul. Good offensive rebound by Stevie, and great to see him out there. Stevie McGrath shooting two shots. It's been a long time since he's been out here shooting. 24 to 10, 638 remaining in the first half. We're with Willie, Dylan, Stevie, Kendall, and Evan Schomer. Stevie's second shot. I think this one will go in. Front iron, no good. And Evan gets the rebound. He gets they call the offensive foul. That's his third. Same guy called it. Wow. I'm just not too sure about that one. Once again. <laughs> wow. Player control foul. There's no shots there, and I'm sure Paul Paul knows that. And, and we got a sub coming in. I coach thought about leaving them. But that's when you have this many weapons, Allie. It's uh it doesn't affect us too much in games like this, especially with uh, Stevie back. That gives us a whole other dimension. Six thirty remaining, twenty-four to ten. Norseman lead. Stevie's a little slow on that. He'll get his legs back. Yet he there gets a go. steal. N nope. Almost comes up with a steal. Gets a deflection. And they get a timeout. Well, Stevie's definitely favoring that leg a little bit. If you look, watch him closely, you can see that. Uh, and Coach actually, I think, just asked him, hey, are you doing okay? Yeah. He wants to make sure. I think he's being careful on his movements, being smart. You know, Allie, I like this cheer. Yeah, it's one of the only loud. <laughs> it's, the, it's really loud. It's, it's progressive. Great. It's action-based. <laughs> They did have a good dance the other day that I was impressed with, so that was cool. Yeah, we got uh, our photographer, Karen Meyer. She got a great picture of the two girls uh, way up high doing that splits where it's like above their head somehow. I used to do that. I gave, I gave that up uh, when we I turned 30. We used to have 30. a family business. Uh, we would go entertain. Yeah, we were in the circus. That was tremendous time. Yeah, really. good times, good times. Back Wh in 88, I missed that. 6.04 remaining in the first half. Floater, and they come up with their own rebound. It looked like Kendall got uh, shoved from behind. Willie with it. Good defense by Willie. Yeah. 
Ruff is talking to Rick. I don't know what that was about. We're up 12, 5.30 remaining. Kendall with a floater. Good. Great job by Kendall to take it in himself. 26 to 12. Steal by Stevie. Takes it himself and lays it in. Allie, that's good to see. That's just good to see. For sure, for sure. A lot of nice layups tonight. Yep, 16-point lead. Largest of the game. Dylan with a near steal. Willie has it. They pull up. There we go. That's their sixth team foul. After this, they'll be in the bonus. Both teams in the bonus. Again, too many fouls called from my vantage point, but we have two of our guys, our big guys, Evan and Jack. Jack both have three fouls each. Stevie has a drive, scoops, no good, but he was fouled on the shot. So he'll go to the line shooting two more, and this is good for him, Allie. You remember, he missed his first two. And now both teams are in uh, bonus from this point forward. Cameron getting set to check in. Come on, Stevie. There we go. Just a little bit more leg, and he got now it done. Now we're in the game. There we go. Dylan will be subbed out. Cameron coming in. I think he just had to get warmed up after being out for so long. Yeah. Second shot. Up and good. Made them both. 30 to 12, 18 point lead. That's the highest of the game so far. 4.52 remaining. Cameron wouldn't mind a steal and a dunk here. I wouldn't mind it either, and it might help our crowd. Our crowd is great, but they're just non existent. Stevie gets the foul, and I think that was a completely legit foul, too. 4.38 remaining, 30 to 12. Yeah, real good crowd. It's just really quiet. You know. Not action packed. Yeah, um, their fans, they didn't bring up. They're the home team. They didn't bring a lot of fans themselves. Look at this. They they go back. I'm not sure. Assuming they're not going to get the rebound. You, you may do that at the end of a game, but not usually here. 30 to 14, 16 point lead, 435 remaining in the first half. Willie by himself takes it. Up and under, bucket by himself. Kendall, tempted, nice tip out by Cameron. Schmitty grabs it. Cameron from the corner. No good. Tip out by Schmitty. Thirty-two, fourteen, sixteen point lead, four ten remaining in the first half. Norseman still pressuring. Kendall's got a retreat back. He had the pass. Schmidty with the steal. I don't know how Schmidty got back so fast. He's so quick. He is so quick. Kendall has it looking for Willie. No, he gets it into Kendall. Kendall has it. Drops it into Stevie. Turnover. Kendall. Nice hustle by Schmidty all the way back to get the deflection. I don't even know if our camera lady got to it. That was so quick. Three forty-nine remaining. Norseman with an eighteen-point lead, thirty-two fourteen. Near travel by the Bulldogs. We're up here in the weight room. Weight balcony is probably a better uh, descriptive phrase. Oh, a little. Fade away Flashing. floater by the Bulldogs. And they continue their man-to-man -man ways. Schmidt has it over to Willie. Willie looking. They can get a nice backdoor alley-oop dunk right here. Skip pass over to Cameron. Cameron was open. He could have shot it. Good fake, though. Norseman working it around. Nice backdoor. Up and under. Cameron with a nice little bucket. Again, I think we can work the alley-oop right there, Allie. Yeah, definitely. Kendall with some good athleticism and gets the steal. There we go. Gives it off to Stevie. Stevie skip over to Cameron. And he gets tripped up. He'll be going to the line, shooting one and the possible bonus.
Cameron shooting over 80% from the free throw line. I'm not sure what's going on with the Bulldogs. Interesting substitution pattern. Friends, you could hear a pin drop here at Bulldog Country. Cameron misses short. Doesn't happen often. Kendall with the rebound. Oh, my goodness. Cameron almost got a rebound dunk. Trying to make his own energy here. I liked it. Wow. I would have gone crazy there, and I hope the fans would have too. A late whistle by the same ref. Wow, I'm not sure if the other ref is even involved. Schmidt with the foul. That's his first. Team's ninth. Bulldogs will go in the double bonus after this. Make the first. 34-17. We've doubled their score. 2.30 remaining here in the first half. Second shot is up and good. Not a bad free throw shooting team. 34-18. Willie has it. Gives it off to Cameron. Cameron out to Kendall. Kendall thought about a three. Doesn't take it. Back to Cameron. Good ball handling by Cameron. Out to Stevie. Stevie drives in. Gets blocked out of bounds. Stevie has it. Or, excuse me, Willie has it. They just go fundamental, give it to Kendall and just work it around. Cameron gets the block, and he's glad to get back to the free throw line alley because he does not like the fact that he missed one. No, he doesn't. You can tell on his face. Alley, I'm not a betting man, but if I was, I'd bet both of these buckets are going to be good. All right, let's see. First one's good. Late call by Mrs. McGrath on the sink it, and she felt like she was going to actually jinx them, but she needed to get the call out, and I appreciate it. She's always there for us. Always there. Here we go. See, if I was a bet, man, I, it'll all work out. 36-18, 18-point lead, same as we had with 452 remaining. <laughs> they call the charge. Kendall takes the charge. Are you kidding me, friends? What a pleasant surprise. Here we go. <laughs> Bulldog subbing in. 202 remaining in the first half. Norseman have an 18 point lead. Let's see if we can extend it to 25 by halftime. Schmitty has it, hands it off to Kendall, Kendall for an easy bucket. Kendall's got a great game tonight so far. Yeah, he really has had a nice game, Allie. Oh, wide open underneath. Oh, are you kidding me? Stevie McGrath comes from nowhere and blocks him. I wonder if uh, Stevie's getting tired just because of uh, not playing in these last yeah, five the lack games. Of playing time. But uh, he seems to be moving pretty quick still. Yeah, he sure does. In, inbounds, Kendall tips it out. Good deflection again. 142 remaining in the first half. Norsemen have a 20-point lead. That's their largest of the game. Stevie has it. They're working the ball around. Long three for the Bulldogs. No good. Rebound, Willian. He's going to go 84 feet and shoot two free throws. You know, something I really admire about this team, they've got great free throw skills, great free throws. They haven't missed many. No, you know, they're in the 70% range right now. Willie's shooting. Looks like Dylan's getting ready to check in, and he, Willie makes the first one. He's coming in for, Dylan's coming in for him. Second shot. Whistle will blow if he makes this. The guy's subbing in. And it rolls in. Subs are coming in. and Dylan will take Willie. Good job by Willie. 40 to 18, 22-point lead. 
And during the timeout, we'll take a small break as well. All right, well, we're back here. Let's see what we've got, Allie. Willie has 12 points so far. That means he is 10 points away from 1,000 points. 10 points, wow. Wow, as a, as a junior, that's incredible. 10 points away for Willie. Cameron has seven. Dylan has four. Schmidt has four. Kendall has four. Stevie has four. Jack has two. Evan has three. And here we go. Oh, Dylan, Dylan had the steal and then he just crushed the guy. It happens. Yep, he wasn't trying to harm him. You know, a play similar to that, and that wasn't exactly like that. J.R. Smith last night, I believe it was, he went for it, but he was trying to like go through a screen and he crushed a guy, and he got ejected. No, it definitely <laughs> wasn't like that. Bulldogs are going to be shooting two here. First one's good. I'll tell you what, Allie. They've done really well on free throws. We'll look at their free throw stats they after sure this. Have. Yeah, Willie's within 10 points of 1,000 as a junior. That's pretty impressive. Second free throw is good. 20-point lead. Cameron running point guard. They, they really deed Dylan up there. Shot attempt, no good. And the Bulldogs got his own miss, and Dylan gets a steal. Fake passes, lays it up. Nice play by Dylan. Back in my day, I probably would have passed that because I would have tried to get it in there and get another assist. I was always, that was my focus. But that, that was the right play in that point. Stevie with a steal. Going in. And the bucket. <laughs> 24 points. That's the largest lead of the game. You know, Steve's not only involved in basketball. He's also involved in, in the Newark Wiffle Ball League along with pretty much all the other players. And he actually, him and Kevin Clock, one of the managers, actually won the whole championship this summer. You know, Allie, I did not know that. And he did inform me today that he was he was also the, the leading home run. He had 75. 75, 75 home homers? Runs. That's impressive. Well. That's it. I think that was a great first half for the Norsemen. Got a lot of good shots. Nice to see the the, the paw paw with with some awesome uh, free throw. Did you find that? Did you find that percentage? No, I didn't yet, Allie. Well, it's forty four to twenty going into halftime, and we'll take a little break, and then we will be back. <laughs> 